Today I am playing Spaceborn 2. This game is very early access and not optimized yet. Recording really brings my rig to its limit, but I'll keep the epic settings anyway. At the start we have to generate a character with a bunch of attributes, a background story and appearance. Once this is out of the way, we get a short tutorial how to move and our first quest that I skipped for your sanity. So here we are sprinting to our ship. Looks like it's made of several other ships. Once inside, it's time to spool up the engines for the liftoff. Well, not like that. That was power off. Somehow we are tilted. Ah, there it is. I'm flying with Houtas and it looks like I need to bind both roll axes for a stable horizontal position. Yeah, much better. Wee, I can see my house. Okay, let's launch for orbit, for great justice. I admit that reference is probably too old for you. <laughs> Calibration module activated. Calibration completed, waiting for the thrust to be Are you here on scout mission? I specifically requested those with ships above SX for. Nice. Now give me some rolls. Do a battle roll. Now let's see if your turbo thrusters are in good shape. Pew pew. That stick is really sensitive. Good. Now switch your weapon group to one and destroy its hull. Yes, that epic music starts every time. We'll probably get a strike for that. Well done. I think you are good to go. These are just stealth ships. We need to find out why they're here. Good. Now move slowly and don't fire any weapon, or they can locate you. I found some weapons and ammunition there. Go and equip them before the encounter. Ooh, space diving. Mine. Good. Now go to that platform and neutralize the pirates. Tactical reload. Pew pew. Good job. Suffering anyway. They sent the bomber to destroy the evidence. Get back to your ship now. Don't stand still. And we're out of here. This ship has its own Betty, of course.
พิวพิวฮะ I love how the wreckage instantly stops just like back in the days in X-wing or Tie Fighter. Steady, steady, ouch! Great job out there. Now any criminal will have to think twice before attempting to steal from us. I'm going to transfer the money to your account. Yes, the just generated placeholder voiceover. Apparently, this game is a one-man show. Keep that in mind. Next stop is an old battlefield to salvage parts for a robo friend. This place is more crowded than I expected. These salvagers, they don't warmly welcome me to do work in their area. That's why you should get rid of those salvagers first. Kill everything that moves seems to be a policy here. This can be done in third person as well, which makes the shooting somewhat easier and way more beautiful. This way the ship can execute fancy dodge moves too. I do still prefer the cockpit view, which shouldn't be too surprising. Talking about surprises. Capital ships showing up to slug it out was not on my bingo chart. I found another one. I got you, you son of a bitch. This is four different factions and I feel very underpowered here. Good thing we are supposed to run away now. Yes, that is a Stargate. We filed a flight plan and requested permission to enter. Please proceed through the gate in the path reserved for you. Watch this, a flight corridor opens with our name on it. One scale later we find ourselves in another sector. Destination reached. Yes, that's floating spam. Nice, a ring station and lots of traffic. Okay, this time I'm going to land more gentle. Love the extra camo on the upper left.
Not too shabby. Okay, this reminds me definitely of Star Citizen. Yeah, all the way down, including ship recall displays and lots of other terminals. This looks like spreadsheet players will love this game. So many values. No idea where I picked that up, but sold. Great, even more numbers to crunch. Now that's a beautiful thing. It's been decades since I've seen a similar model. It must be more than 50 years old. Fascinating. Yes. I can do that, but it will cost you both time and money. Of course it will cost time and money, so back to the ship. <laughs> the target is planet side this time and this looks like it's missing some shaders and a day and night cycle. Warp drive online. Oh well, early access, and this works just like in Star Citizen as well. The surface align process is completed, waiting for the thrust of the I didn't expect a thunderstorm. Really setting a mood here. Is that smoke coming from my GPU? More baddies via drop balloon. Okay, this is awesome. It's such a wild sci fi mix. Oh meh, remind me to disable motion blur. I seriously hate that. Hmm, why is this one not taking damage? Warren is not here. I'm sure they took him down to the research center in the cave. No one asking to touch. Or would you go to the cave by elevator and check it out? I see a scripted sequence. Cave diving, check. Kinda nice. According to my screen, there's a cargo ship directly overhead. The AT document must be in a container on that ship. Please don't let them escape. Okay, this stutters a lot. I guess I should quit for today. Alas, there is shooting to be done. Sadly, flying and fighting in atmosphere appears no different from space. Yet. Classic. Kill the engines. Good. It 
can't go anywhere. Now get off your ship and get on top of the cargo ship to check the containers one by one. I'm sure it's in one of them. On planets with gravity below 14.2 ms squared, you can use the space suit as a jetpack. For this, eject from your ship. Add more diving. Check. Enabling loot goblin mode. Not here. Damn it. Please keep looking. Hurry! Barrels are about to explode! That's it! I can't thank you enough. Please bring me the AT documents. That was too close for comfort. The robot is about to be repaired. As a matter of fact, you will have a new generation multifunctional droid with the brain of your old robot. These SR-11 models are very athletic, able to fight and even... You know what I mean? This exoskeleton... It is... different. Of course, I am a man of many... Correction, a woman of many plans now, I suppose. I know what he means. First, open the services panel to manage your ship. To load weapons, open the weapon management section. Before starting, unload your old weapons by clicking the weapon on the left panel. Now click a weapon and load it on the ship. Okay, brief look at ship upgrades before I call it a day. Easy enough, more numbers for the spreadsheets. Good. Now let's load the components on the ship. Each ship's component slots are different. For example, this ship has weapon systems and aim component slots. These slots are hard to find on every ship. Oh, didn't know there is free look too. Now I'm totally hoping for head tracking support. Hotel support seems to be brand new, by the way. Really happy that it's there. Now this is a fun bug. Pressing buttons or hotkeys in input settings affects the ship systems in the background. Warp drive online. Engine module weapons online. Okay, that's it. See you in the black.